running this, seeing if we can space out the field, because, like, he's got nobody in the slot. So I'm just going to lob it down to Deshaun Jackson. He's going to catch it. No one's going to catch him. And there's going to be a one-play tutty right there. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here. And today, guys, we're back on the Madden 18 Draft Champions. Today, we're continuing with this all-NFC draft. Now, the team is pretty good. You know, I got Mike Singletary, Ed Reed, Jason Pierre-Paul. You know, we got JPP, um, Brandon Carr. You know, we got a, a pretty good squad. It's pretty good. We got Randall Cunningham, too. So there's our best three, Harold Carmichael, Randall Cunningham, Mike Singletary. Terry. Now let's see what this guy's rocking with Jason Taylor, Steve Young, and Larry Fitz. So he's definitely going to be able to run the ball. That's the one thing I'm going to have to be worried about with the quarterback position. He's going to be able to scramble a lot. So we are back here on offense, running something with Randall Cunningham. See if we can do anything. We just throw a dot to Deshaun Jackson. I've thrown so many dots, guys. That's all I throw is dots, you know, so you might as well just give up. So we're back here, second and eight, you know, and guys, just real, take a minute real quick, just to um, examine this play, you know, how great this play is right here. So we're back here, and we're throwing another dot to Carmichael. He gets laid out, but thankfully, he hangs out on the ball. I'm happy about that. So uh, we were able to actually score. We had to punt him the ball. So he's back here with the ball, seeing what he can do. He's been running a ton of screens, so we do wrap him up. He gains about four yards there, so we do have to do some work, and we're going to stop him from gaining some yards. So he's going for it on second and eight real quick. You know, seeing what he can do, and just well, um, we're here. We're back here with the ball. He ended up um, punting me the ball. He went for it on fourth down, I think, and didn't end up getting it. So right here, I'm just running this, seeing if we can space out the field, because, like, he's got nobody in the slot. So I'm just going to lob it down to Deshaun Jackson. He's going to catch it! No one's going to catch him! And there's going to be a one-play tutty right there. You know, you got, I don't know why people do that when they run, like, one safety in the backfield and don't run man and don't have people, like, play zone, because it leaves the slot wide open. It doesn't make any sense. But there, we get completely burned on defense. That was just a bad play call. He, he was running over the field all over us. We weren't able to tackle him there, and he does get it in for a touchdown. So that was just a bad defensive play right there. It was a defensive breakdown. We didn't play very well. So he's going to go for two here. So we got to stop him. I was trying to you know, make sure everyone was covered there. We do stop him. We get him sacked, which is good because now he's down by a point. So as long as we can score here, we should be all right. So he, we're back here, you know, running it up, seeing if we can do anything on offense, running some play action, see if anyone can get open. And that was such a bad pass by me. I tried, like, I should have waited. If I would have waited another second or two, he wouldn't have got that pick six. That was just a bad read by me. I don't know what I was doing there. And after that touchdown, he's going to go over two. I'm running some blitz. I want to get some pressure on him. I don't want him to be able to run it into the end zone. So we're trying to blitz him and we do not get him in time and he does make the two point conversion so he's now up by seven points. So that one he missed earlier doesn't really matter. So he's back here with the ball starting the second half. He's running this screenplay again. I was trying to put hard flats on and everything and he's like somehow how does he break through that? How does he like that's that shouldn't even happen. That was like he walked through like four of my guys. And now just take a minute and look at this guy's username and look at his um um this team and his team little logo, his two letters. I just noticed that. Um, you know, it was just great, you know, playing against this guy. But there we get the pick. Hoping we can maybe get a good return here. I didn't mean to change directions there, but just take a minute and look at his team, his team name, his team abbreviation, and his actual PSN name. So we're back here with Randall Cunningham, and then I try to hit Carmichael. He would have been wide open if he would have caught that ball, and somehow he didn't catch it. I was just mad. I screwed up the playmaker there. So we're running some no huddle after that play, seeing if we're able to do anything. Just seeing if anyone can get open, trying to make some adjustments, see if anyone can get open. We're hiking the ball, and then I try. I, that was such a bad read by me. I don't know why I tried to pass it to Sean Jackson. That was a complete force. I don't know what I was doing. I had no reason to force the ball there. Like it was completely unnecessary. So it's fourth and thirteen. We do need to stop him here if we're gonna have a chance. So he's back here, dropping back the pass, seeing what he can do, and that's a pick! Amos gets the pick. Hope we can get some good blocks. It looks like we're gonna get some. Try to make this guy mess. We do make um we do break a tackle, but we are getting getting knocked out of bounds. So we're starting off the fourth quarter here with the ball. Second and eleven. We're only down by a touchdown. So we're gonna run some play action, see if we can get anything set up. And it looks like Carmichael's open! We throw a bullet to him! He catches that for a touchdown. So that should make the game tied if we can nail this PAT. So we do nail that. So we are now, it's third and 16. He has the ball. We got to stop him here. He's got two minutes. As long as we can keep him inbounds, get the clock running, and stop him, we should be okay. So he tried, and he gets wide open down the middle. I don't know how he got that wide open. He gets it in for the touchdown. So now we're down by seven more points. And maybe if he goes for two, I don't know what's going to happen. He went for two, and he was able to make it. So we're back here. 58 seconds left. And there we do throw another pick. Which, the game is pretty much over. Um, he just got to pick again, and if we don't, if we get to pick six here, we're screwed. There's nothing we can do. So he's going to get it in for a pick six easily right here. We weren't able to do anything. 
So we got 40 seconds left. All we can hope is maybe we score really, really quick and get the ball back. So I wanted to send Carmichael in motion. There was nobody on the right side of the field. So I'm like, let's send him over here. Maybe he can beat this guy one-on-one -on -one because he was running some man defense. So there, he pressures this guy inside, and Carmichael's wide open. So I just lost it down to him. That's a rat catch. This should be an easy touchdown. So we do score the touchdown here. We're down by 14. So all we got to do is hit this PAT, hit the other PAT, and we got to get this outside kick. If we get this outside kick, we have a chance of winning the game. It's pretty much all or nothing up to this onside kick. So we are going to kick this. Hopefully we're able to get this so we can maybe take one or two chances down the field and possibly score and come back and tie the game up. So we're going to kick this onside kick, and we are not going to get it. Hopefully we can maybe make him fumble. We weren't able to. So he's got 25 seconds left. I've got one timeout. The game is pretty much over. But he was um, continuing to run plays. I don't know why. There is five seconds left. So for some reason, he decides to run some play action and just throw a lob. So I'm like, okay, maybe we can pick this off. We pick it off! Eric Reed picks it off! We have a chance! If we can return this for a pick six, we have a chance. We got this guy to beat. You know, I don't know why. I tried to spin, and for some reason, he, like, juked. We weren't able to return that for a pick six. We did have a chance, though, at the end. So hopefully you guys didn't know this gameplay. It was a pretty good game. I'm so upset we lost. We had an easy chance to win. We weren't able to get the W this game, but hopefully you guys didn't enjoy this all NFC draft challenge. But anyway, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully you didn't enjoy the video. Anyways, have a great rest of your day, and peace out, guys. Thanks.